live from the north side of Chicago, Wrigley Field. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers and the Chicago Cubs. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about ready to go. Pitching for the Cubs in this one, Kyle Hendricks. Four pitch guy. He's got some options to work with in terms of keeping hitters off balance. So we'll see how he decides to utilize those weapons through this start here and whether or not he's able to mix them all in early or if he wants to hold something back a little bit later, maybe second, third time through the order and give them something they haven't seen. It's tough when you know a guy's got that in his back pocket. As a hitter, you really have to stay on your toes. Mookie Betts stands in now and watches strike one. First pitch, 120. Here comes the 0 1. The shortstop takes the ball. 1 and 1. That misses two and one. He's a bad ball hitter, so even if you get him to chase pitches outside the zone, he still might beat you. Not an easy out by any means. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Bush puts it away. One down. Huge sigh of relief, I'm sure, for that guy out there on the bump to retire a great hitter like that for the first one of the game. Time now for Dave Roberts lineup for the Los Angeles Dodgers. And we check out the guy in the seventh spot, James Outman. And Boog, he's a fun at bat to watch. I mean, definitely a threat whenever he's got that bat in his hands. But for me, it's, it's all about the mechanics. They're so sound. And when he gets his foot down on time and starts his swing, so much consistency, that bat stays in the zone for a long time, and he squares up the baseball a lot. And here it comes. And that is in for a strike. Oh, a two now. And that skips in the dirt. One out, base is empty. Swings and misses, struck him out. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there, just that needs to let the ball travel a little the more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch Freddie. for the strikeout. Freeman. Freddie oh. Freeman in the box now. No balls in a strike. Ground ball left side. Madrigal on to first, and it's a one, two, three inning. We head to the bottom of the first. No score after a half inning. Back here at Wrigley Field, and today's starter, Bobby Miller. Well, he's not a rookie, but still very young in this game, learning his craft. I think the key is getting consistent reps and the opportunity to develop his stuff. Looking forward to watching him pitch in this one. So up now for Chicago, Ian Happ. No left fielder. Half a switch hitter. It can be challenging for guys at the big league level to maintain a good swing from both sides of the plate. Clearly, he's got more pop from the left side, but in 2022, the right side was respectable as well. The 0-1. Hammers that one, curling down the line, and foul. And the 0-2. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Righty delivers. Sets him down looking. 
Fastball to letters frozen for strike three. No, just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite arm angle. So I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands. And now it's going to be Seiya Suzuki. First offering and it just misses. Right-hander kicks deals. Hey. That was absolute gas. Triple digits on the gun. It's just a different experience as a hitter watching that go by. This one chopped up the middle. Bats up with it. Fires to first on the yeah. run. On target. He got him. Nice play. Let's take a look at our lineup. And the key to victory for them here, get their starters some run support early. Boog, if they can get him that run support early, it's likely the other team folds because they know how dominant he can be once he gets settled in. So put pressure on that other team right away. Jump out to a lead early, and a few runs is going to feel like 30. Foul ball there. Two out spaces empty. And that one is lifted in the air. Makes the play, and it's out number three. We played an inning. No score. Top of the second, and here is Will Smith. He's hitting Will. for that pop. Came out of the gates really strong. Smith will handle the catching duties in this one. 29 years old, a former first round pick back in 2016. To the right side. And he takes yeah. it himself for the out. That is it. The third baseman, number 13, Max Muncy. Here comes Max Muncy. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. Well, we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand, looks so good, and then by the time it gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. The wind of the pitch. Swings and misses. Pulled the string on the changeup. On the north side of Chicago, John Chambi and Chris Singleton. And now Teoscar Hernandez. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Fastball almost got him there. And the righty deals. Hmm. Pitch is in the dirt. Two balls, two strikes. No score here in the second. Up the middle, and it finds its way through for a hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Batting seven. And the now the center fielder, fielder James Outman. James Outman.
And first offering is fouled off. At the belt and fires. And a curve is down and in. Hernandez off of first with two away. That one misses, and it's two and one. One straight. This guy's seen two changeups in a row. Could be a little vulnerable for a fastball right here. and miss struck him out and that is that so one hit is all they get now to the bottom of the second we're tied nothing nothing and we're back ready to go for the last half of the inning now it's the DH Christopher Morell Miller back to work Ball. And there's a ball. One ball, no strike. That's in there. And a count one and one. Clyde Washington doing the umpiring behind the dish in this one. Sometimes considered a bit of a pitcher's umpire singing. He likes the low ball, which traditionally favors pitching. But, you know, hitters today are pretty good at dropping their barrel down. So we'll see how it goes in this one. And a foul ball. The pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. ball foul ball another 2 2 upcoming knocks that one away and we'll do it again. to kick the pitch Got him. he battled for a long time but it finishes with a strikeout you can't be mad at yourself That's after an at bat like that one well oh, that right there is just a pitcher's pitch tailing away from the hitter low away with some good action at the end you know even if he gets the bat to that ball it's probably just a weak ground ball to the opposite side I tell you what that's a tremendous two strike pitch Dansby Swanson stands in And that one fouled off. The shortstop takes the ball. Strike right through there. One that ball. one, a triple digits. This to third, Muncie whips it across, and Swanson is set down. Batting fifth, the first baseman, Michael. And here is Michael Bush. First pitch doesn't find the zone. One and oh. Fly ball down the line. Taylor settles underneath it and makes the play, and that's out number three. We'll move to the third with no score.
And welcome back to the ballpark. Top half of the third inning, and here's the veteran outfielder, Chris Taylor. Hendricks back to work. In there at the knees. Strike one. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. Jack swing, and he held up. Righty to the plate. On the ground to third. And that chance handled. Sends it to first. Taylor out on the play. Batting up. The second baseman. Gavin. And now it's Gavin Lux. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. That one finds the corner, and that is strike one. Boog, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Top of the third, no score. And another ball. Slow roller to third. Magical. The throw to first. And that quickly, two away. So the batting order turns over. Now it's Mookie Betts. Popped out and fouled ground first time through. Nope. Wouldn't chase ball that one. time. One ball, no straight. And a foul ball. Two outs. Just misses with that one. It's a good take. And down on strikes he goes. And the Dodgers are set down in order. Dodgers go down quietly. And we're still knotted at zero. Here at the friendly Nico. confines, Nico. bottom of the inning, here's the second, second baseman, Nico Horner. Nico. He's kind of an outlier, Horner. especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. Oh, oh he doesn't get the, the call. Ball one. Yeah, his swing is so good, it's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. The 1 0. There's the strike. Singy, one of the things that's interesting is that guys really don't worry about swing and miss from an offensive standpoint anymore. So when you see somebody who contacts the ball like this, do you think of that as plus value? Absolutely. If he's doing damage now, if he's rolling over and, and grounding out, then it's a different story. But yeah, if he can put the ball in the gaps or over the fence, 100%. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Hernandez brings it in. One up, one down. Batting eight, the third baseman. Here's Nick Madrigal. When you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. And downstairs. This guy plays third base like he's a shortstop, and he welcomes the difficult play. Can throw from so many different angles. It makes really tough plays look very easy. One down, base is empty. So what are the skills you look for that make a really good defensive third baseman that elite? 
Well, but one of the things I think about immediately are just the feet. Does he have good feet? Is he able to quickly react? And when you have good feet, you've got soft hands. And soft hand defenders are able to make tough plays look easy. Still two and two after the foul ball. Comes a two two. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Out on the drop third strike. Two gone. That's a pretty nasty pitch right there. I'd call it a power curveball in the 80s. It's got so much spin on it, and you really don't have a lot of time to sit back and watch what it's going to do before you have to commit. It was a good one for the swinging strikeout. Here's Jan Gomes. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-1. Field base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. The left fielder, number eight, Ian. Back to the leadoff spot in the Cubs lineup. Ian Happ up to hit. Struck out looking at the bottom of the first. Right through there for a strike. Gomes leads off first with two down to the inning. Next offering is in for a strike. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, the catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Here comes a pitch. Battling here as he fouls it away. Owen Chu now in the air left side no trouble here puts it away for the out and that is the third out of the inning one left for the Cubs still no score here at Wrigley Field now the number two hitter Taylor Trammell and there's one thing on his mind this at bat getting that first hit at the big league level that one in the dirt and that's ball one you know these Dodgers as this game goes on have to be more disciplined at the plate so many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches they're chasing outside of the strike zone you can't do much of anything with those locations and that's been true again today. Here's a one one. Comes up empty. That's strike two. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand. And a pitch. Tremell checks his swing, appeal to third, and Ed Drummond right on it says he held up. Left hand hitter waits. Smash to center way back and you can forget it. Home run. A gigantic blast. His first homer of the year. It's one nothing. That one just sounded different. And might have been the loudest moment yet. Man my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the booth. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spit on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient, and it paid off.
Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. And the pitch a little bit low. Ball one. And the right hander deals. Fought off foul. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, I want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field not. And another ball. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. The batter now will be Will Smith. Grounded out his first time up. In for a strike. It's 0-1. 0-1. That one hit the knees for a strike. Well, that's a great take right there. Even though it's a strike, with the situation run on first base, you want to keep the ball off the ground. And you swing at that pitch, most likely you roll into a double play. To short, could be two. Takes it himself oh. for one. On the first double play. Great job by the shortstop right there. Fields it, decides to take it himself. Second baseman can just chill out until the next play. Max Muncy at the dish. That one ripped, but foul. And the pitch. He swings and fouls one off. Two down, nobody on. And that's outside. Gonna count one and two. Tries to check his swing. Now to look to third. Nope, he held back. Two down, base is empty, but one run across. Top half of inning number four. Well, he's having a tough time getting the pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. Caught him looking for the K. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now a one nothing ball game. Bottom of the fourth, Leading so up off, now for Chicago, Seiya Suzuki. Well, here's a fun fact for you, Boog. Suzuki is the first Japanese-born player to homer in three consecutive plate appearances in the majors. Feel free to use that note in your next Cubs broadcast, buddy. Sneaks through, base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Dominant performance for him today, Boo. Just two hits allowed so far. No runs across either. And he's had an answer for just about every hitter he's faced. So I don't think this hit is going to knock him off his stride too much. Here's Cody Bellinger. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. That one is absolutely belted. Could be extra bases. Makes the turn at second. Heads for third. Headed for the plate. He'll score and they've tied it. It's 1-1.
Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring it back. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. Runner in scoring position, no outs. Christopher Morell, the next Cub to hit. He was a strikeout victim his first time. No. Just missed. You know, these Cubs just up. lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs. Can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. Man at second. That one fouled off. The pitch. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Around third. He will score and the Cubs take the lead. It's two to one. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Nice line drive to the pull side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Here's the shortstop at the play. Dansby Swanson. Oh. And that one missing low. One ball, no straight. That's a strike across the top one of the ball, zone. One Here's the pitch. Runner goes. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Bounce to third. Muncie. Good feed. That's one. Relay to first. Double play. As a former player, watching 5-4-3 double plays brings back some adrenaline. It's such an exciting play, and it's always a great reminder of baseball being such a team sport. Next to hit, Michael Bush. Right back to him on the mound. On to first. That's out number three. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. We played four. It's the Cubs 2 and the Dodgers 1. Back here at Wrigley Lead Field, top Angeles. five, John Chambi with right Chris field Singleton. Field. And leading it off, Teoscar Hernandez. Hernandez. On, the right-hander back to work. And that's through there for a strike. Hernandez measures six feet, two inches, 215 pounds. He joined the team as a free agent. That catches the corner. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. That misses. And the count is two and two. That one missed. Careful. Three, two now. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. Line drive. And there's a hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. And next for L.A., James Outman. He's 0 for 1. First pitch misses. 1-0. There's a strike. Oh, 
In on the ground might be two. Over to Swanson. He turns it on to Bush. It's a double play. I think four, six, three double plays like that are way tougher than these guys make it look sometimes because no matter how you do it, the feed from the second baseman is a tough one. That's where footwork really comes into play. But right there, very well done. Chris Taylor now. Foul ball. Swings and misses. And a count is 0-2. He's in a great spot right here. Ahead in the count, 0-2. All four pitches in play right here, partner. Two outs. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. And it drops in. That ball right there landed in what they call the no man's yeah, land, meaning it's not really a spot on the field where you can expect anyone to get to it easily. I mean, it's a tough play going back for the shortstop, but also for the outfielders trying to come in. they got to go a long way as well. And now here is Gavin Lux. Kicks and deals. Sliced hard, but foul. Oh, and two now. And there's a the ball. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher. But if you're anticipating based off the trajectory, Get yourself in the scoring position. That's a hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two okay. away. Back to back singles. Nice job going the opposite way with it. Letting the ball travel and not allowing the barrel to hook around the ball. It's so frustrating when you see a good pitch and your hands roll over. It was on the outside part of the plate and he approached it perfectly. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. So the lineup flips over. Mookie Betts steps to the plate for the Dodgers. The shortstop takes a ball. Kicks and fires. Oh. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Tying run in scoring position. And we're at the top of the fifth. That one misses. And it's 3-0. Taylor Trammell would be next if they can extend the inning. And he's homered already, so I'm sure he'd love a chance to do some more damage here. See if he gives him anything to hit here. Strike on the inside corner. And a count is three and one. And that'll load the bases. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boo. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. Here's Taylor Trammell. He's already homered in this game. Just missed. Movement in the Cubs bullpen. Number 43. Up and throwing for manager Craig Council. Lighter. The right-hander also getting loose. Hot shot to first base, and he snags it to end the inning. And the Dodgers leave him loaded. And our score remains 2-1. to the bottom of the fifth. Here's Nico Horner. 
Taken high in the draft, he's had that top prospect label over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. This one in the air center field. Outman makes the play, and there's one down. Third baseman, number one, Nick. And next for the Cubs, Madrigal. Nick Madrigal. Not a lot of people know this, but this isn't the only Wrigley Field in MLB history. You know, when the league expanded and added the Los Angeles Angels in 1961, they... This one lifted in the air, left field, and that one hops the wall. Around first and hustling for second. The relay throw. Not going to get him. He's in there. Now it's Jan Gomes, and he's already singled in this game. That one at triple digits. Man at second. That one is upstairs. One one now and that's down and away magical over at second one down that one a little bit high and now three and one Stairs oh. and it misses oh. ball four. Got a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to lay off no some left. really Double close eight. pitches and yeah. somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Cubs made Ian Happ a first round pick in 2015. He played at the University of Cincinnati as an infielder, played a little bit of outfield, but a guy in 2022, what a year, Chris, both an all star and a gold glover. In the box now, take strike one. One out, runners at first and second. And fouled off. One Not ball. even close there. And that is ball one. Two on, one out. Wouldn't chase that time. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. And a good eye there. A really good take, especially with two strikes. Seiya Suzuki on deck for the Cubs. Runners at first and second with one gone. Last half of inning number five. Swing and a miss struck him out. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. So first and second with two outs. Seiya Suzuki getting ready to hit one for two. Way high. Bounce to the left side. Bats up with it. Jump throw. An acrobatic play to end the inning. No runs, a hit, two left. Five innings complete. It's the Cubs two and the Dodgers one. And welcome back to the ballpark. 
All set for the start of the inning. And here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. And the right hander back to work. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left handed hitter. Well, they say it's the best pitch in baseball. Strike one. You get ahead on oh, a good hitter as well. He's a little bit more confidence to move through the at bat. Good eye right there. Action in the pen down there. Julian Merriweather appears to be getting loose. And that's outside. And a big swing and a miss. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. Well, patience and discipline paid yeah, off that. right there as he got into an advantage yeah. count. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. And up to the plate is Will Smith. And that one fouled off. And he deals. Jack swing, one around, and it's on two. And that's in the dirt. Way to lay off that pitch down. Ground ball left side could be two. To second, there's one. Plenty of time at first. That's a double play. The 5 4 3 double play is a gem in baseball. And how can you not appreciate the skill and practice it takes to make this look so easy? Great work by the infield. And now it's Max Muncy, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Ripped on the ground a second. Horner over to first. They get the out on Muncie, and that'll do it. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Hard of the order, 3-4-5 coming up. It's the Cubs 2 and the Dodgers 1. Back here at the friendly the confines. The Bellinger up to hit. The center fielder, Cody Bellinger. Miller back to work. This guy who grew up in big league clubhouses, got to be a nice feeling, Siggy, when your father played the big leagues and he passes down all that wisdom. He swings and crushes one deep on its way, way back there. Gone. It's a belly bomb. His second of the year, and they add to the lead. It's 3-1. It's like he's playing wiffle ball up there, and that's typically not the easiest way to hit a home run. The slight opposite field into the gap. Man, making it look easy, that's for sure. And now, Christopher Morrell. Oh, and that outside. misses off the outside edge. Nobody on, nobody out. Here in the bottom of the sixth. That oh, one drifts inside. inside. Oh, he's just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run. Go back to work. Focus on this next batter. And a strike right through there. That one at triple digits. Activity in the bullpen for the Dodgers. Shohei Otani getting loose out there. Yarbrough also throwing. And that's outside. 
three and one. And there's ball four. The batter number seven. Shortstop. It appears Dave Roberts Denver. is going to dig into his bullpen as he comes out of the dugout to make the change. Bobby Miller gives way. Just never found his groove. Wasn't able to settle in. New arm coming on. Back in a moment. New pitcher on now. Shohei Otani. On for his major league debut and a moment he will never forget. Better believe that. It's always so special the first time you get into a big league ball game. I did it as a position player, but for him as a pitcher, I'm sure there's some nerves there. Probably don't want to squeeze the baseball too tight. Just relax and do what you're capable of doing. Swanson in the box again. Takes a strike. You know, these Cubs putting together some really good at bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. They really made that opposing starter work in this one. Ran his pitch count up, and now they've got an opportunity to continue making things difficult on the bullpen. And there's a foul ball. And no, they haven't broken through in a big way in the runs column, but with the way they're grinding out at bats, it definitely feels like there's potential for more coming. Foul ball still 0 and 2. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And one out now. Now that pitch wasn't even close to being a strike. And that just goes to show you how defensive hitters can become when they're up against an 0 2 count. You're just hoping for a mistake somewhere near the zone that you can get the bat to. But right there, he was clearly anxious. He was swinging when the ball left the hand. Fouled off. He was late. Morrell leads off first with one away. Left hand batter waits. That's and that's off the inside edge and a count one and two right handed reliever gets a piece and stays alive. In the dirt to second, yeah, and he's out. You know, Boo, this is the part of the game that oftentimes is overlooked. This is the grunt work. Great job of the catcher using his body to deaden that pitch, keeps it close, and then throws a strike down to second. That's off. Two down, nobody on. Got him. And that will end the inning. But the solo shot stretches their lead even further. And this is now a 3-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Mark Leiter Jr. These are the spots relievers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. The right fielder, Teoscar Hernandez. The pitch. Up the middle, Swanson 
Now the throw to first on the run. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Good arm side run to that same side hitter right there. Very difficult the to put that ball in the air or get through it. Just pours in on the hands. And at the plate for the Dodgers, James Outman. That Oops. one finds the zone, and that's strike one. No need to offer that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. That'll fire up the dugout. His first homer of the year, it's 3-2 just relentless this team will not quit a good hitter gets pitch recognition early he saw exactly where that was going to be the challenge not get over anxious and come out of your swing he stayed on it and got all of it One down. Now the left fielder, Chris Taylor. Pitch in the dirt, and it's one and oh. Trying to hold a one run lead here in the top half of inning number seven. And that one fouled off. That misses the zone, and it's two and one. Out front, rip foul. Looking to get the tying run on base. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Swings, throw it in, that's a strikeout. Now it's the second baseman, Gavin Lux. Gavin Lux. That one laced to center and a base hit. So the two-out knock extends the inning and sends them back to the top of the order. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Back to the top of the Dodgers order. Here's Mookie to hit. And downstairs. Right now, they're looking for something hit hard into the gaps. Give them an opportunity with two outs to score that run from first. The pitch. There's a strike. With a single base runner because of all the power, they are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. That misses the zone and a count two and one. Lux off the of first with two away. And here it comes. And that's a fair ball. 
Hap fires it in. Lead runner hangs on it second as the potential tying run moves into scoring position. Back to back base hits. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Now we'll see if they can pick up that tying run and start us over. Here comes a new arm for the Cubs, number 43. He's making his fourth appearance of the season. And next is the designated hitter, Taylor Trammell. He's already homered here in this one. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Misses the zone and he gets him to chase. Well, you got the hitter already chasing that nasty slider. If you're on the mound, you just want to expand the zone right now. Get a swing and miss and get through this at bat. Next one off the plate inside. It's a ball and two strikes. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. And we're back. We got him with a seven. Now at the plate, Nico Horner. Nico Horner. The pitch. Strike that clips one. the corner. No ball. One strike. The O2 stays alive. The 0 2. And ball one. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. Righty to the plate. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Five foul balls in this at bat so far, and these two are going head to head. You can see the crowd. They're starting to get into it a little bit more and more each pitch, even Great though ball. there hasn't been a ball Great. in play yet. Three two now. And it's ball four. He missed down low. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. That could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches and the leadoff batters on base. We'll see if the next guy waits until there's a called strike before he takes the bat off the shoulder. Rudder takes off. Pitch in for a strike. For a second. Ow! Man, I see him trying to be aggressive right there late in this ball game. Try to add on to that lead. You know, I really like the thought, but it just didn't work out that time. Nice job by the defense right there to keep things right where they are in terms of the score. Swing and a miss. Chased it out of the zone. They can live up in the zone all game if hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone.
Base is empty one away here at the bottom of the seven. To the right side. Steps on first for the out. Now batting. Catcher. Yaw. Go. Two outs. Base is empty. And up next for Chicago, Jan Gomes. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And there's a strike. Good heater at 98. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable to play is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. Swings through that one for strike two. One ball. Man, this has been a real important inning in relief. I mean, so far, they've been doing a great job holding that deficit at one. And down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. New inning getting started. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Freddie Freeman. The first baseman, number five. As the lefty gets Freddie to work. Freeman. Close one. Doesn't get the call. And that's ball one. Movement in the bullpen. Advert Alzala. Up and throwing for manager Craig Council. One and zero to Freddie Freeman. Fought off foul. And that's off the inside edge. Now two balls and a strike. Freeman hits it in the air. Bellinger drifts towards it. He's got it. And there's one down. The battle. So now the it's the four hole hitter, Will, Will Smith. Smith. Go for three with three ground outs. First pitch just misses. Holding on to a one run lead, and we're in the top of the eighth. Chop back up the middle. Swanson on the run, throw to first. Barely got him for the out. Close play. If you want to be a great defense, you have to deliver consistently. It doesn't matter how many highlight reel plays you make if you can't execute the small stuff, just like we saw. Now a right handed arm out of the bullpen, Jose Quas. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Here's Max Muncy, that funky Muncy. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. In for a strike, going along. Quas, 29 years old, and they went out and made a trade for him last season. This one driven deep, way back there, and it's gone! We are tied! A massive home run, his second of the year, and we are starting over. It's 3-3. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. So two away with nobody on. And now the right fielder, Teoscar Hernandez. That one know. not close. One and oh. <laughs> 
two outs. Foul ball there. Next pitch is outside. And the right hander deals just off the outside edge. And that's ball three. James Outman waiting to bat for the Dodgers. At the belt and fires. Fouls one away and now three and two. Payoff pitch. Chases that one out of the zone. That ends the frame. Solo shot for the Dodgers this inning. We're tied now with three apiece. Back after this on the show. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Ryan Yarbrough. This southpaw has been really good against left-handed hitters. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Ian Happ. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a flyout. The wind of the pitch. Just missed. And another ball. The pitch. Right through there for a strike. to the left side but it is well foul. In the air out towards right center. On the move to the gap. He's got it. And there's one down. They trust him in center field because he's capable of making right. plays on the run, right. and we saw it right there. Right. That's a player you want patrolling right. center field. Someone who can attack the ball off the bat. Right. Suzuki oh, up to bat next. Lays off for a ball. The Dodgers bullpen with some action. Daniel Hudson, the veteran right-hander, appears to be loosening up. The wind of the pitch. All tied up near the bottom half of the eighth inning. On the ground, Freeman. And he handles it himself for the out. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. And up to the plate comes Cody Bellinger. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Yeah, that One skips ball. in the dirt. Okay. So here in the three spot, Chris, a hitter, low average, but high slug. Well, one thing he's going to lean on are the metrics. His exit velocity has been really good. He's just had some bad luck hitting the ball right at people. Here's a high chopper. Freeman, the underhand flip. Flip to first, ends the inning. So they go quietly there through eight full, all tied up at three apiece. 
Back here at Wrigley Field, we go to the ninth. Here's the center fielder, James Outman. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. And that one fouled off. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. One ball, one strike. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Looking. Chris Taylor steps to the plate for the Dodgers. One for three. Pitch misses there. Ball one. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Base is empty one away here at the top of the ninth. And now two and one. That one missing inside. Gavin Lux up next for the Dodgers. Righty delivers. Packs and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, that slider down and away. It's just kind of a slow death. With two strikes, you're looking to protect. And halfway to the plate, you know you've committed. And you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. Tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip your cap. Gavin Lux. Steps to the plate for the Dodgers. That one finds the zone, and it's 0-1. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Right-hander kicks deals. Gets him to chase after that one. More and more guys are looking to slog regardless of the count. In this situation, we'll keep a close eye on his approach. Misses inside, and the count is one and two. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. Just missed. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. And a pitch. Got him looking. And it's a three up, three down in it. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Daniel Hudson. This is his fifth appearance of the year. And now the DH, Christopher Morell. The well, one swing's a lot easier than getting two or three hits to win this ball game. You better believe he's going to be all in to hit the ball over the fence somewhere. And the pitch. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. The healthy cut, tough pitch at 98, but a really good pass at the ball.
and it's one and one. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Evan Phillips looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Kicks and fires. Swings and he breaks his bat. He'll do it himself. One out, bottom of the ninth. That's a huge defensive play no, in the no, late no, stages no, of the no, game. It might no, not no. be the most challenging we've seen today, but it needed to be made. That's helping your team. So up now for Chicago, Dansby Swanson. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. In there for strike one. Late in the game, everyone gets a little tighter. Way to get ahead on a really good hitter right there. Kicks and deals. Huh. 0 2 count. Both pitches on the inside part of the plate. Hitter is thinking, I don't want to get beat here. This is a good time for something off speed away. The pitch. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 2. And a miss struck him out. Now batting. First and next man. for the Cubs, Michael Bush. 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. And yeah, that's outside. Ball one. And that one missing low. Two down, nobody on. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. That oh one missed. Nico Horner waiting to hit for the Cubs. And that's ball four. That just came apart right there. Four pitch walk and guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. Runner at first with two away. And up next for Chicago, Nico Horner. Now the inside corner for a strike. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. And fouled off. Trying to send this to extra innings. And now one and two. They tried to get him to go. Chase the pitch down and away, but he wouldn't bite. Wouldn't chase that time. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. And there's a hit. Rowe comes in quickly, but the winning run is now in scoring position. Two away. He was all over that one. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you've got to make them pay. Now just one swing away from potentially walking this thing off. Now the third baseman, Nick Madrigal. The other way, and it's just foul. That was close. Ball one there. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. Oh 
here comes a pitch. Out towards right center field. Outman on his way over. Makes the grab and that'll end the inning. Cubs strand a couple. So no change in the score. It's 3-3. Now we're in extras and there's a new arm on the mound Julian Merriweather they know that he can get a right hander out but he's in position to face a couple of lefties this inning. Here's Mookie Betts. If you don't get ahead in the count you can forget about having any success against him. Extra innings certainly had a different feel starting in 2020. With a new rule placing a runner on second to begin the inning, and that forced teams to rethink their strategy in extra frames. Yeah, much less margin for error, and boob to your dismay, not much sacrifice bunting. Teams usually try for the big inning. Certainly not that much bunting for the road team as they try and play for the big inning. But for the home team, if the road team doesn't score, you'll see the home team bunt sometimes. Taylor Trammell steps to the plate for the Dodgers. That's in for a strike on the outside corner. 0-1. Wow, just a beautiful backdoor slider right there. If you've got any chance of hitting that pitch, you have to wait until the absolutely last millisecond. Just a tough pitch to hit and not an easy one to throw either. That misses. And it's one and two. Well, he missed badly with that 0-2 fastball. Hitter has to understand, probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch. So got to stay ready for it. And another ball. Two and two. One out. The go-ahead run is at second. Oh, Next three. pitch is outside. Freddie Freeman three. in the on-deck circle. And it's second. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Two gone. Nice work there to get the strike out. And that's a big second out. I'll tell you, this whole crowd will be fired up. They can get out of this and leave that go-ahead run stranded in scoring position. This is a big moment in this game. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. On the ground right side. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and one left on. On to the bottom of inning number 10. All tied up at three apiece. Back here in extras, and a new pitcher on the mound in the bottom half of the inning, Joe Kelly. Power slider guy, boo. He throws it hard and gets a lot of late movement, so it's tough to pick up. Runner in scoring position, no outs. And now Jan Gomes, a strikeout and a walk. The pitch swings through that one for strike one. Man, 91 on the slider right there. That's a hard one. That's a low end fastball for some pitchers. One just oh, oh. missed. Yad Gomes waits, misses off the plate, and it's two and one. In the air to left down the line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. 
And there's one down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Swings through it for strike one. Come this guy's one sink has so much drop in it. It's almost like a split finger fastball. Instead of just weak contact and balls on the ground, he gets swings and misses. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. He's falling behind in a huge spot, but we've got to do what it takes to come through. Maybe choke up on the bat a little bit, spread out those feet, whatever it takes. The winning run on second base. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Rolls across the diamond. Two gone now. Good slider inside right there. Batter fighting to get there. Just rolled over it. Got the ground ball. Seiya Suzuki will hit next. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion, and he's in full oh. speed. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Winning run stands at second. Slap the other way, foul. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit. But when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. And another ball. And he deals. That one misses. Full count now. Winning run and scoring position with two away. Left field, Taylor drifts towards it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Cubs leave one, score remains tied at three. And welcome back to the ballpark. 11th inning set to get underway. Now it's the Dodger cleanup hitter, Will Smith. Merriweather back to work. That one the other way, and it stays fair. Freeman rounds third, headed for the plate to second. Not in time. He's safe as a run scores on the play. What a way to get it going. A double to knock home the runner from second. Yeah, just clearly trading places, and now that guy on second threatening to score more runs. Good clutch hitting to lead off the frame. Max Muncy steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Gets the slider in there for a strike. The extra innings rule placing a runner on second to begin the inning was a big move for baseball in 2020. So, Chris, how has that changed the way relievers approach these innings? Well, I don't think it's that much different from coming in to clean up someone else's mess. Definitely not ideal, but the best relievers welcome challenges like this. Next pitch is downstairs. This hitter's looking for a fastball, but... I'm not sure he's going to get one. Pitcher doesn't have to challenge him. If he feels better about his off-speed secondary stuff, then stay with it. Man, it's second. Pitch misses, and that's ball three. Good pitchers make pitches in big situations, and right here with a middle-of-the-order hitter up, runner in scoring position, he's got to find a way to throw a quality strike. That one ripped left field. That's back there. And brings it in at the wall. Runner tags up for third. And he's in there as he tests the arm in left. 
One away on the flyout. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot. Turned around and made a nice catch. Bounced out to short. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Not in time, and that'll score a run. The pitcher on here, Yancy Almonte. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Runner on at first with one gone. Digging in, James Outman. One and the first pitch okay. misses for ball one. Amante, a righty that throws with power. He features a slider, a sinker, a four seamer, and he works in a changeup. Wouldn't and chase ball. that time. Working down to the zone to start the at bat, looking for that double play ground ball. Yeah, back to back sinkers there. He's looking for some weak contact or to get this hitter to roll over. Now, as a hitter, you have to be really disciplined. Don't look down because you'll end up chasing the ball down. Set your sights high. Maybe you get a mistake. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. Almonte throws over, but it's wide of the bag and gets away. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. So here we go. Base runner at first could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position, even if it's a swing and miss at the plate. Half snags it for the second out. The left fielder, number three, Chris Taylor. Here's the left fielder, Chris Taylor. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Waste no time there. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. And up next for Los Angeles, Gavin Lux. And that one wrapped foul. Two runs across in the inning, and we're here at the top half of the 11th. And there's a strike in the outside corner, and the count is 0-2. And, and that's in the dirt. Two on, two outs. And another ball. Ground ball to the right side. Bush takes it to the bag. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. So two runs, three hits, no errors, but two are left stranded. Last shot here as we go to the bottom of the 11th. It's the Dodgers five and the Cubs three. We're back and on the mound is the closer, Evan Phillips. I think closer has to be one of the toughest jobs in baseball and we see a pretty high turnover rate because of it. Every outing seems to be high pressure, this one included. We'll see if he can wrap up. Three, four, five due up for the home team. Now here is Cody Bellinger. 
And here it comes. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Runner around third. Relay throw home. Safe. Well done. Drives in the run. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. And here's the DH for the Cubs. Christopher Morrell. Rolled to short. Possible two ball. Oh, behind oh. the back. Over to first. Safe. Now batter, not shortstop, Gansby, Swanson. And the batter will be the shortstop, Dansby Swanson. 0 for 4, two strikeouts and two ground outs. Maybe a two ball, 5, 4, 3, and that's the ball game. Nice work out of the bullpen for that first MLB win, Boog. They turned to him when they didn't have the lead. He kept things steady, and he's rewarded with the W. Close one here today, and your final 5-4. Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.